What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back. We are starting season 2 of Haikyuu today. And <clears throat> I am happy to say I am ready. Haha. -ha. Are you ready for season 2 of Haikyuu that rhymed? Yes, it rhymed. Anyways, we're going to jump into these episodes, but first we know that Karasuno is coming off a very devastating loss, and it's devastating, you know what I'm saying? But loss or losing is a part of life, I would say. It's something that you got to look at, learn from. They got the spring tournament coming up, along with um, with the, um, the third-year students. So I'm happy that they stayed on board because they would lose a big chunk of their of their um, experience when it comes on to this thing. So if you don't know and you're joining me for season two, I know some people, um, you know, when they're watching reactions on YouTube, they tend to, you know what I'm saying, sometimes want to jump in the middle because maybe season two is your favorite season. Um, so if you're here, you're new, welcome to the channel. Hopefully I can impress you enough and you would like my reactions to be able to make that decision to hit that subscribe button but it's no problem if you don't like it you don't have to stay it's okay <laughs> all right so um i appreciate you guys for coming for coming um to the channel hopefully you'll be able to check out my season one reactions and also the ova that i did recently um so we're gonna move we're gonna move forward man i want to see what season two is like you know we got the powerhouses to look forward to haoba josa and also shiro tozawa um i've been writing some stuff down um just to keep that stuff in my memory because um you know um eventually um hopefully you guys are not you know like I i'm saying this now Cause I hopefully you guys are not sitting around waiting for this and that and whatever for things to get all rushy, rushy and rushy. No, I'm gonna keep the same pace as in two episodes. If I feel like I need to do more than two, I will do more than two. But always expect just two episodes of the series that I'm doing right now, anime series. Except for Yu Yu Hakusho, because I'm soon done with Yu Yu Hakusho, so I'm kind of like trying to do at least four episodes of Yu Yu Hakusho every session so you will get still get those four episodes for Yu Yu Hakusho of course but for all the other anime series on the channel we'll be doing two episodes per upload going forward okay so hopefully you guys stick around for that especially the fact that sooner or later things are going to get back to normal for me and I will have to go take care of business so um so yeah hopefully things you know we don't know stuff is kind of like they they told us that things were going to get back to normal and we started to kind of go back to normal and now they're kind of shutting back things down again because you already know this covid ain't playing all right all right so that's what i have to say about that hopefully you guys enjoy these reactions man as we go forward these intros are going to be way shorter than this so Hopefully, you guys, I'm just trying to get all that I can out in this intro for the first episode of Season 2 um, before we move on. So, make, I'm just trying to make sure that I'm getting everything out that I need to get out. Um, I'm looking forward to this season to see how this team grows from this devastating loss. So let's go do this, and I will see you guys for the review. Let's go. All right, so that was episodes one of two, one and two of season two, the beginning of something new. So we learned a lot. We learned a lot. I'm glad that we got to see more of Ushikawa, Ushikawa, Ooh, Ushikawa, right? Ushikawa, is it Ushikawa? <laughs> I'm sure. Uh, no, it's it's Ushiwaka. Ushi is Ushiwaka, right? It's not Kawa. It's Waka. God, that name is it's weird. <laughs> it doesn't flow. <laughs> Ushiwaka. Okay, Ushiwaka. I think it's Ushiwaka. Anyways, 
Um, glad that we got to meet him. Got a little more insight on his personality there um, in episode one. So I'm definitely looking for that. Kind of reminds me of the moment. It's like a call back to the beginning of season one when we met Tsukishima and he did the same to Tsukishima in some sort of way. But it wasn't as epic because we know that the dude is tall. He's definitely taller than Tsuki. Um, to, than Suki. He's definitely taller than Suki. So, um, for not to get up there, and I'm glad that they did that wide shot too, because it made it look so much more amazing of how high he actually jumped to go get that ball. Crazy stuff. Anyways, so that was pretty cool, man. Pretty cool opening. Got me hyped there for a second for just a jump, but. I'm guessing we're going to see a lot more of those moments in season two. I don't know who they're going to go up against, um, but I'm happy to say that, you know, I'm glad that we're back in the mix of things of seeing this anime go, man. And I, I really do appreciate you guys for sticking around um, to watch this with me. So for all of you um, fans out there that has been waiting for me to get to this point, we're here. <laughs> you know, and I like the dynamic, the relationships that are building in this anime, man. Um, also, um, old girl manager looking for a new manager. That was pretty cool. She's got a little timid, but I think she'll warm up to the team once she realizes that they're not so scary as she thinks they are. You know, and it's amazing, man, to be around sports. You know, you wonder why sports are so popular today. You know, um, and it's one of the things that a lot of kids aspire to get into is mostly because of the emotions and, and, you know, the camaraderie that surrounds sports. Why, you know, why you have passionate fans, you have casual fans, but you have mostly passionate fans about their teams. People will argue with you to the ends of the world about who the best is. You know what I'm saying? That's why sports debate is so hot on TV today. Is is you get what I'm saying? Um, you know, people will want to say that they, you know, that sports debate should be unbiased, and I don't think so. I think it makes it more fun when people are biased in sports when it comes on to who they think is the best, rather than and you know predictions about who's gonna win and all of this other stuff. Like I think it's better for TV. TV needs drama. TV don't need... You can be unbiased, but you're not going to be interesting for long. And that's the thing That's the thing about being unbiased when it comes on to TV um, because of it. Yes, you're going to have those people that are unbiased, but who watches those shows? Let's talk Let's talk about who watches those shows. Like two of, two of the best sports debate shows on TV. Talk about First Take and Undisputed, right? The rest of them where you have like... Um, you know, I we could talk about the unbiased one, but nobody really nobody really watches them. And that's what I'm saying. They don't go for as long. You know what I'm saying? So like I love watching um First Take. I love watching Undisputed. I like watching um First Things First. Um I, I like watching those. You get what I'm saying? Um, you know, and it's it's the debate is always good. In my opinion, what they talk about is not always the sports that I watch, but when great moments happen, I will, you know, I'm particularly very, I love basketball, so I watch them on talk about basketball stuff and stuff like that. Other than that, I don't really watch anything else. Like, if they talk about any other sports, I'm not really that interested in because they don't really cover, like, they don't cover uh, a lot of sports that I would love to know stuff about so they don't really cover that stuff so it's like it's mostly basketball or football it's like those two sports are the things that dominate sports debate shows so um and if baseball is going on they might do sections on baseball i'm not really a huge baseball fan but i do have a favorite team um you know but it's it is what it is so i like the fact that you know in high queue you get these these incredible feel-good moments and they're going to continue to build on that i have no doubt that there's way more of that to come in this anime and i'm looking forward to it i love me some haikyuu and i'm looking forward to some more episodes hopefully you guys will join me on this journey as we continue to go through these episodes i know um that season four 
is I think it's still airing. I don't know if it's still airing because I'm not really checking up on those further episodes in the series. Um, you know, it is what it is. When we catch up, we catch up. But I'm slowly going to get there. I'm not in any rush. As I've said before, it's two episodes. Every now and again, we, I might do more than two. But that's the pace that I'm going on. Sometimes I'll even drop one, too. So just, you know, just hold on. Just hold on. You know, I'm going to try to keep that two episode pace going for all the animes on the channel except Yu Yu Hakusho. When we start a new one, it's going to be two episodes. I'm going to try to keep that in line because I tend to go overboard a lot of times when it comes on to watching these shows. <laughs> but it is what it is. Anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in. The beginning is here of season two of Haiku. And, we're, and I'm ready for it. Hope you guys are ready too. Hopefully you guys can tell me in the comment section what you thought of these two episodes. It was awesome awesome to see what Hinata did man that was greatness in anime you know what I'm saying even though it was such a simple thing it was just greatness it just made me feel so hyped just to see him do something like that hopefully you guys will hit that like button on the channel and also subscribe if you're new it's your boy Terabyte Reacts and I'm out peace